businesses become more reliant on technology, making it virtually impossible to efficiently operate without some form of a management information system, or MIS. A typical MIS gathers or extracts data from internal and external systems, analyzes and processes those data, stores them, creates reports in an easy-to-understand format, makes them accessible to managers for analysis and to aid in management decision-making, and derives insights that drive business growth and for the proper functioning of the business. The extensive reports of MIS provide managers with a comprehensive overview of all the information they need to make smart business decisions and strategies. In this video, let's explore the use of MIS reports, the kinds of information they provide, and the benefits of those reports. Starting with summary reports. Summary reports are commonly the most utilized report because it pertains to the day-to-day -day picture of the business. These reports take data from different categories and aggregate it. The information that is being formed in summary reports is usually presented in such a way that management can make sense of it. For example, an inventory summary report considers vital information like the value of inventory in stock as well as the value of new purchases. Aside from that, if the inventory report suggests an unsold product at one location, the MIS reports can drive a decision to sell it at another location. Another example, a shortage of stock can be determined during a peak season at a particular location, enabling better anticipation of peak sales. Another example is a sales summary report which contains information about sales revenue as well as the visions for that revenue in terms of geographical location and product category. Another example is the weekly, quarterly, or annual financial report for evaluating company performance to draw up the financial status and health of an organization. Financial reports are essential to the management's financial decisions and to shareholders seeking to reinvest or be paid dividends. The next type is trend report. This simply shows trends, which allow you to compare how different things perform and they also enable you to compare present performance with past performance. For example, a trend report of sales shows the performance of a given product or business unit over the year. That year will then be broken down into months, weeks, and days, but you can see how well it did over different periods. Using the trend reports, management can pinpoint problem areas and figure out how to correct them, such as a product category that is suffering may need to either be improved or scrapped altogether. The third common report created in MIS is the exception report. An exception is anything outside of the norm. It will collect every single instance of these abnormal occurrences and then put them in one place where management has easy access to them. The purpose of this document is to show the actual performance that deviates significantly from expectations. It also allows management to see what's not going right and then prioritize what needs to be solved immediately. For example, if the inventory levels are well below the norm, then management can order more supplies. Another example is when a business unit is making much less revenue than the norm. Then management can take action. The last but not the least is the on-demand report. On-demand reports are produced whenever managers need them. For example, the business owner might want a sales report for a specific product category to see how well it is selling in a particular location during a given holiday season or at a specific price. At this point, let's look at the benefits of MIS reports. First, trend analysis. MIS reports offer detailed insights for analyzing trends, strategic planning, and business forecasting. Second, goal setting. With MIS reports, setting goals is easier as you get access to detailed data insights and analysis. Third, identifying problems. MIS reports come in handy when there is a problem regarding resources, work hours, or time management. Fourth, increased and improved efficiency. MIS reports help increase the efficiency of the machinery and workforce. Fifth, reduced costs and errors. MIS reports help with fast data collection and processing. They help companies save data processing time and costs, which in turn leads to quick decision making. 
we come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about the reports generated in MIS. If you find this helpful, please like and leave a comment. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Thank you for your time.